right, everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a fun art project using paint and rubbing alcohol. Now in your kit, you will have gotten uh, several colors of acrylic paint, a little container of rubbing alcohol, and a straw. You'll need some water and a paintbrush. Now in your project, you'll be painting on a canvas, which is included as well. One canvas for the house, uh, but for today's demonstration I'm just going to be using regular paper. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your, open up your paint and you're just going to add water to them uh, just to get them to thin out the paint. So you want, don't want the paint to be super thick. You'll just stir it around to make sure that the paint didn't settle at the bottom. Okay, so to get started, you will take your paintbrush and you'll take your first color and you're going to paint a nice layer of paint. I got my water a little bit too thin, so you don't want to make it too thin of water, but that's okay. This is just a demonstration. So you'll go and you'll paint a nice little layer of paint on there. Take your time with this, there's no rush. Make sure you, you get a nice layer, you do it how you want to do it. So once the paint is on, you'll take your straw and your container of rubbing alcohol and when you drop it on like this it gets this cool splash look to it and that's the alcohol reacting with the paint now we are using acrylic paint not washable paint so just be mindful of your clothing so you have one color for each of your uh, participants so once this first one is done, you'll take your canvas, because it will be painted on the canvas, and you'll just set this out to dry, okay? So we'll just pretend like we're setting this out to dry. And then voila, it's dry. So next you're going to do is you're going to take your next color, and you're gonna repeat the same process again. Only you're going to put this color on top of your first color. Mm -hmm. Again, take your time. There's no rush. So, you know, You'll do more layers than that, but once you have that layered, you'll do the same thing. You'll take your rubbing alcohol, and now you can see that the purple color comes out underneath the blue. That rubbing alcohol has reached back down to the purple color, and you have this really cool effect of both blue and purple. You can do little splashes if you want, get fun little patterns going, however you want to do this. And then that's your next participant. So again, you'll let this dry when you're getting ready for your next person. And oh, voila, it's dry. So you'll just repeat this with all the colors that you have, all the participants that you have. So everyone gets to put a layer down. On the canvas. Take your time, there's no rush. Make it pretty. I'm going to add a good layer onto it. Go this way. And 
then you'll take your alcohol again and now it's gone down to the blue and the purple so you have this really cool multi-layered color effect going on where everyone's layer gets shown and it's one big group art piece that you have done together and again, depending on how many colors you have, you add that, though, that many layers to it. You just let it dry for the next person and then they add and you just repeat. So here you go. This is our painting with alcohol project and I hope you have fun.